Well, I mentioned in my last garden update that I needed to get this cleaned out. It's not a pleasant job. There's a, like, this is a sunken marble bathtub. At one time, this was in a kindergarten or first grade class, I don't remember which, as a reading station. When that teacher left, the principal said, take that thing with you. It weighs a ton. I mean, it, it probably weighs 300 pounds. Brought it home, managed to get it down here somehow and dug a hole, I was a lot younger, dug a hole and buried it. And it's my lotus garden. I love lotus plants, but I know that there's some frogs. Last time I cleaned out, there was frogs, newts, uh, some fish still in there, but there's only a few inches of water because it has been about three years since I've cleaned it up. Well, there's a nice breeze blowing, 76 degrees. Uh, so today's the day to tackle it before the frogs and toads start laying their eggs in there. The first thing I'm gonna do is take this platform off and try not to fall in. This is just resting on here. It's about time to replace it. And then, I'm just kind of start digging this out. I've got a plug in the bottom. On the other side over there, I've got aluminum stake. There's a PVC that goes from the bottom over there to let the, let the water out, but I've got to dig it, dig down in there to get to it. And I've also got to dig the hole out over there. So I think I'll do that first. It's going to make good mulch. Well, there's my aluminum rod. These raspberries weren't here last time I cleaned this out. So it looks like I'm going to get scratched up. I've got to move those rocks. Oh, it's a big job. Remember these rocks being so big. There it is. There's the PVC. It looks like it's stuck. Let's see if I can get some water going through it. It's not draining yet, but these are the lotus that I'm after, and it's way overcrowded. I'll be giving a lot of these to Coach Michael. She and her husband have a big, beautiful pond in full sunlight, and uh, these are gonna do really well there. So I don't wanna break them off. I wanna be very careful with them. There's, there's a ton more down there, but I've gotta get it to drain. So this is where I'm at. I've spared you most of my wallering around. This is stuck in the plug right now. So it should start going down again. And as you can see, there was about four inches of water and I've taken out about 15 gallons of muck so far. There goes the rest of the water. Now I saw a frog in there. I don't know where it is. It's probably caught somewhere under here. Uh, the question is how much junk do I want to leave in here? None. There is a pile of rocks over here because one day I came out and there was a box turtle that had drowned. Man, did I feel bad about that. Now that I've got that out of there, 
uh, I've got to get the rest of this out. I'm going to spare you the details. This is not pretty. Uh, I am all junked up here. I've got mud everywhere. Uh, but I think I'll, what I'll do is uh, stop the video here, get this cleaned out, and show you what I've collected. Well, I think I found four frogs. One's already jumped out. One's swimming up here at the top. This is all the junk that was in the bottom. A lot of these, these are just spent. They're rotten. That's what I wanted to get out. A lot of those are viable. That's what I'm going to leave. I'm going to jump back in there and get some of that junk out of the bottom right there. And put my rocks back in. I've got some fertilizer here from the pond guy. I'm going to put those, and this is what I'm going to leave. I think that'll be plenty of blooms this year, and it'll grow for next year. So now it's just a matter of getting all this stuff back in. So I've got it back together. Um, I'm really happy. I've cleaned up most of the mess. I still have some to clean up, but the water's just crystal clear. This is a day later. And I went and got uh, some fish, uh, maybe we'll see up down there, some ruby minnows or something like that from PetSmart, uh, just to keep the uh, mosquitoes under wrap. And I'm thinking about putting some kind of a solar fountain in here. I think that would look great. Thanks for watching.